it, it's really hard because you know you, you can't control lots of things that go on. You don't know what injuries are going to do, and you don't know, you know, uh, you know what your squad's going to get through the pre-season like. And then, you know, form can be a bit of a fluctuating thing. If you can lose it, you can stay out of form for a bit. But look, we, we're just working really hard. We're working on the basis if we if we turn up and train hard and we prepare ourselves as best we possibly can, you know, and then demand certain things from each other. Well, that'll give us a chance. It doesn't give us any guarantees, but it gives us a chance to make sure we, uh, you know, we perform well again. Port Adelaide. A remarkable season, 14th last year, 16th the year before. What a game! We have a really clear view of where we're going, Port, and we know that it's not, you know, we're not predicting that we're going to be going there this year or the next year. We know that we've just got to keep doing things that we can control and we'll get there at the right time. And, and I don't know when that's going to be, and, you know, I just know that if we keep working hard, we're not expecting anything to happen overnight, but we know that there's a there's a path that we're on. We know how we, we're going about getting there, and we hope at some stage it puts us in that position. It's massive at every AFL club. You want to make sure that your family feel a part of your football club. You know, we're our parents and their partners and everyone that's involved with the players. You know, it's, it's not just about the, the players and, and the people who work there. We, we need to include everyone. We're really, really very much based around the community and family at Port Adelaide, and we have to make sure we, we um, harvest that and make sure everyone feels really welcome. Out Pollock, will he go? He probably wishes he didn't now. Has to turn to the full 360 and then oh, lined yeah. it up. And he's nailed the kick. <laughs> It's made easier when you get a player who wants to come back home to live, which you know we can all understand that. And then, you know, when and when he makes that choice, it's really important for us that we we're one of those live options. We've, obviously, there's only the two in Adelaide, and we, we need to make sure we're one of those live options. And you know, we're really pleased that he, he chose to come to Port Adelaide. And you know, she said we seen him last night. He's certainly going to add to our football club. He's he's a really young as far as football education. I think he's got a lot of work to do, and uh, you know, he's still going to get better. <laughs> oh. <laughs> see, see, he, he's. His statistics stay intact. It's a fascinating one because everyone wants to talk about John. You know, he's that you know that, that big power forward that that we need to to um, make our side probably a little bit stronger. But uh, you know, and everyone else has a bit of a fascination with him because he's he's kicked a little bit off and on at times, and we know that. And I've said that publicly that John's kit has that kick in it, and we just deal with it as long as he can deal with that pressure. And that's the hardest thing I reckon is him dealing with that pressure. Um, you know, he's okay, but he adds a lot to our football side when he's up and going. hasn't hasn't never been fit. That's the key ingredient for John. He's he's always battled his body a bit, and if he can get that fit, and we think he's got that to a reasonably good shape at this point of the season, we you know hopefully he'll have a good year.